Now here's the man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, The Miz. The Miz, a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank, although he hardly earned it. Bite your tongue, Saxton. You're just jealous of The Miz's amazing legal skills. This is a superstar who truly makes everyone around him even better. Think about his gorgeous wife, Maurice, his two daughters, hell, even me. Uh, uh, what about me? What about you, Saxton? Miz doesn't want anything to do with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul! There are folks in the crowd on social media, heck, even backstage, who resent Logan Paul because he's a celebrity who shot to WWE superstardom. Well, some people believe Paul didn't pay his dues and he's an entitled celebrity. You know what? Those people can put in the work to make themselves a star like Logan Paul did. Until then, shut your mouth and immerse yourself in the Logan Paul experience because he's serving it up. Put your hard hats on. Logan Paul's about to go to work and someone's about to catch some hands. And it's former mentor versus former mentee in this one as the Miz and Logan Paul face off. Understandably, Miz felt disrespected and slighted by the way things ended with him and Logan Paul. Cole, there Miz was, trying to teach and mold a protege, and Paul just refused to listen. Uh, I'm pretty sure Miz dropped Paul when he realized Logan was more popular than him. Absolutely not, Saxton. Miz wanted to teach Logan Paul the way. And now he'll have to do it face to face in this match. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow up ones definitely will. Ooh. He had it scouted. The Miz taught Logan Paul everything that he knows. But I think we all know Miz always has so much more underneath his sleeves. I imagine that Miz's game plan in this one will be to bust out some of the moves we don't usually see him do. Maybe prove he can be just as flashy and athletic as his former protege. If anyone can do it, it's The Miz. He's made a career of surprising his doubters, Logan Paul included. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. What are we gonna see here? The old Mr. of Oz. Click your heels, Byron, or just go home. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Crank in the head. Momentum has shifted towards the Miz. Yeah, Miz is proving hard to keep up with. Huge splash. Kicks out at just one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. And that was not the kind of treatment for an A-lister getting knocked down a peg or two. And I think Logan Paul just silenced any doubts with that offense. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Taking this one back to the ring now. And he's out of there in a nick of time. I love this. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. The temple's getting rattled. Oh, kick connects. Oh, Paul creates an opportunity. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh, what a punch. Oh, a strong impact. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. 
goes into the pin. Two count. He gets the shoulder up at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Vicious right forearm. And Miz. Nice Russian leg sweep and the octopus strip. He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. On the move. Oh, what a splash. That'll bust up your insides. Logan Paul. Kick right to the chest. Line. Kick by Logan Paul. Incredible. Miss telegraphing that one. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Outside the ring now. And this match will head back to the ring. Picking the leg. Oh, we got a sit. There it is. Figure four leg lock. Logan Paul trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Crucial moment for Miz. Ten. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Oh, man. A second away from the Miz getting exactly what he deserved. No, oh, Miz doesn't deserve any of this, Saxton. And I get that Paul thought he had him there. But he really needs to follow up. He can't let time cost him this match. And I can hardly believe it, but Logan Paul and the Miz had this crowd on their feet. They're giving each other everything they've got, and the people are showing their appreciation. Three in the arm. Well, that changed. Oh, look at Cole's line. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? The Miz just getting beat down. Not an A-list performance here from Miz. Opportunity now for Miz to capture the momentum. Miz isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Hooked up. 
What's Logan Paul gonna do? Planet face first. Outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Great counter by the Miz. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. These two are clearly fired up, going blow for blow. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Ooh. Ooh. Rapid fire shots. Not your superstar backing down. Just like that, the scales are imbalanced. Oh, targeting the stomach. Bam! Down he goes. And the high splash! Logan Paul has him on Dream Street. Come to you, WWE fans on their feet, showing their respect for this matchup. Great sportsmanship go. being shown here. Oh, come on. Just shake the superstar's uh, hand. Obviously, emotions are still running high, Saxton. You don't know how bad it feels to come up short in a situation like this. Just take a look at the size of Sangha. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, representing Indeshed from India, weighing in at 297 pounds, Sangha! One of the most dangerous and imposing competitors to ever come out of India. We've seen his path of destruction in NXT, but now he is focused on all of WWE. Sangha tends to stay silent and lets his actions in the ring do the talking. And he's prepared to make quite a statement tonight. Xavier Woods is here. Please, no trombone. I'm begging. Play it. Play it. And his opponent, representing the New Day, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods, one of the few nerds on Earth that can actually beat you up. 
A video game and pop culture fanatic loves that stuff almost as much as he loves competing. Almost. Plenty of tag team success and ready to hold his own. Yeah, say what you will, Woods is no joke. The man can go. We're live with Xavier Woods. One thing we know is Woods likes to come out with a burst of adrenaline. Woods has that look in his eye like we're going to see something special tonight. Xavier has unbelievable instincts and is not afraid to roll the dice on a high-risk move. If he's fighting, he's got a chance. And then there's Sangha, who is here for the sole purpose of crushing his competition. Sangha brings the same unchecked ferocity to every match. And tonight should be no different. No remorse, no hesitation, just Sangha. Gotta hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Woods gets him back. Perspective, Corey, what's the X factor that Xavier Woods brings to this match that could help push him to victory? I'd have to go with Xavier's willingness to deliver a 200% effort in the ring. Woods doesn't have a single ounce of quit in him. He goes all out and fights for the win every time. If he shows that same level of commitment and resilience here tonight, victory could be his. Followed up by another to the chest. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, as Woods' tenacity was fueling him there. He's got him scouted. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Check to the midsection into the hammerlock. I think we know what comes next. Hammerlock DDT. Just devastating. Great officiating, as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Picture perfect drop kick. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Big forearm. Oh, fuck it. Gosh, landing face first. What a barrage of stops. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Great counter. Uh, off the rope. Uh -oh. on up. This is... Uh -oh. Switching it right into an arm drag. And he kicks out at two. He really thought that was it. He moved, but can he capitalize? Wheelbarrow face buster. Woods enjoying the opportunity to unleash some serious offense. And Xavier looking. Xavier Woods walking the top. Boom. Limit break and boom. Saga's in deep peril here. And I'm going to check on uh, his opponent. Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove?
A standoff here in the uh, middle of the ring. You can feel how bad these competitors are ready to go at it right now. And oh, look at this. Handshake offered and accepted. It's the calm before the storm. These two are going to go at it. Great sportsmanship to start this thing. Trust me, once the bell rings, respect goes right out the window. There's the battle. We've already seen the respect these superstars share for each other. Yeah, but that can always backfire. You can't always expect the same mutual respect from everyone you meet. You're not totally off base there, Corey. And the shoulder's up in time. Yeah, far too early for her to expect anything else. Elbow throw saying not today. Oh, look at this. Hair pull mat slam. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Reversal from Hartwell. Boom, DDT. Gotta be agonizing for the arm. Elbow drop. Piercing. You have to think defeating someone as strong as Raquel Rodriguez is a tall order, right, Corey? Absolutely, but what Raquel possesses in strength, she lacks in experience. You might not be able to overpower her, but you can outsmart her. Exploit Raquel's inexperience, and you'll bring her down. Indy with, uh-oh. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Oh, nothing fancy there. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. Hoisted up across the shoulders into the torture rack submission. Neck breaker. And I think we just saw a good answer to Hartwell's killer instinct right there. Raquel sent more than a shiver down her opponent's spine with that offense. Reverse DDT. Floor, what's she gonna do? Boom! That kick will stop you in your tracks. So much damage inflicted. Ah, face first off the post. Axe handle finds its target. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Can she keep her down? Kick out close to three. Not yet. So big, so strong, taking her opponent down. A devastating blow delivered to Hartwell there. Raquel there remains an intimidating presence no matter how far into this match we go. Good Lord! What a slam! Raquel made that look absolutely destructive. Yeah, and I don't know how you pick up the... Rodriguez hooks her up! With a Tahana bomb! Critical danger for Indy. Looking for the victory. Two. Near fall. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. I don't know if kicking out was wise. I think Raquel is on the verge of hurting her opponent. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Hartwell struggling to defend herself. Hartwell needs to find that spark. Tossing them aside. She covers for the pin. And it's Raquel Rodriguez scoring the victory. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. 
While I admire the respect they showed earlier, it's obvious it doesn't always work out. Respect isn't always about winning, Corey. I don't know if I would expect Corey to know much about respect, Byron. This loss is going to be playing on repeat in their head for a while. Well, with their display of respect earlier, I think they'll bounce back after tonight, Corey. Johnny Wrestling has become Johnny Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. A superstar with unmatched heart and determination every time he competes conquered NXT and has his sights set on the main roster. Something special happens whenever he's in the ring. Well, he's ready to make magic once again for the WWE Universe. He is the blonde bombshell of the men's division. No, boy. Well, I may disagree with their beauty and fashion, but Elton Prince is truly dangerous in the ring. You guys are both jealous, and it's gross. And his opponent, representing Pretty Deadly from Gray's England, weighing in at 172 pounds, one half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champion. Elton Prince! Prince and his gorgeous counterpart, Kit Wilson, have seen success everywhere they've ventured. Held the NXT UK tag team. And how are you supposed to prepare for something like this? You gotta keep your head on a swivel at all times, Cole. Yeah. Doom Buster! And we're getting dangerously close to the referee calling this match off. These superstars need to come to their senses. I hate to say it, but I think that ship sailed. I have no idea how you stop a fight like this now. He foiled that attempt. And right between the shoulder blades. There is perhaps no superstar currently in WWE more synonymous with intense, high-quality matches than Johnny Gargano. They don't call him Johnny Wrestling for nothing, Cole. And you can bet he's going to stick with that and use it to take control in this match. Oh! Gargano showing his alertness there. Ooh! Ooh. Elton creates an opening for himself. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. Whip back into the ring. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Looks like Johnny Gargano is locked in on his opponent. And he's able to reverse. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Where's the haymaker? This match grinded him down a little. 
Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Well, that didn't go as Johnny designed. Look at this, going counter for counter. Talk about devastation. Heartbreaker. Ah, oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Steer clear of that. before the count of two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. I don't know if Prince can withstand much more of this. And that is Johnny Wrestling personified, taking control and increasing the intensity thus far. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Watch the knees to the body over and over. Ah, oh, takedown, and now punches, right! Ooh, just relentless. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Into the barricade. Whoa. Moves outside, what's the plan here? Golly. Schoolboy. No, nope. roll through. Super kick. A lot of motivation behind that one. Johnny doing what it takes to keep chasing after his dreams. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. That rebel heart on full display with a taunt from Gargano. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Nice clothesline. He'll take things into the ring. Taking this outside. This could be good. Able to reverse. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. The shoot buster. What's he gonna do here? Johnny Gargano, and he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Johnny Gargano hyping up the crowd. Elton creates an opening for himself. Oh, flapjack, Jaws landing face first. Carefully measured knee drop. There's some power behind that punch. Training back and forth blows now. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Slugging away with everything they've got. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Ooh. Ooh. No holding back. Going all out now. That will leave you stunned. This superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. If a shortcut presents it, this could do it! No! Two count! So, so close. That could have been it. Oh, no! Someone called the orthodontist. That 
Looks wide for Prince before. And he is saved by the ropes. He's taking this to the floor now. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Whoa. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Two. Johnny Wrestling feeling it, rallying the troops. Oh my God! Uh -oh. Inverted Frankensteiner. And he's taking this to the outside now. Back into the ring. Taking this to the floor. Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. Ooh. Elbow drop. And nothing devious about that move from Elton Prince. A move of pure beauty. Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Stiff form. Johnny Wrestling with a takedown. We're going to cinch it in. There it is. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his butt? Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He just barely dodges. Ouch! Dejected Elton Prince in the wake of defeat. That Rebel Heart must be feeling good right now. Respect to Johnny Wrestling, who was one step ahead when it mattered the most. No lies detected. If I could be so bold as to make a prediction, someone's gonna get smashed. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed! A natural born competitor who went undefeated for an entire collegiate season. 
He has held NXT Tag Team titles already, and he's determined to dominate every division on every brand. Here comes an all-American blue chip talent in Julius Creed. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed. Julius Creed is a straight-up unit. He went undefeated in collegiate conference competition. He's one of the best NXT Tag Champions ever and now Julius is ready for all of WWE. Get ready for some higher learning. And accompanied by Thea Hale at a combined weight of 469 pounds, Andre Chase and Duke Hudson. Saxon, why don't you go try out as a cheerleader for Chase U? I did already. They said no. And the Chase U section is firmly behind their representatives tonight. I'd hate to be the class clowns facing them tonight. And finally, action makes it to the ring, and we are underway. Well, that certainly boiled over quick. These teams have been chomping at the bit to get at each other, and they weren't going to wait any longer. He's one step ahead there. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Complete dominance. Oh, man. Leg breaker. Into the corner. This can't be good. And finds a counter. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stomp. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. You never see that coming. Stomping. Ouch. Will this be enough? No, he punched the shoulder before three. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Gut wrench suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer. There's too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Shot after shot. Ugh, ruthless striking. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Gut wrench suplex into a slam. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that.
tag is made. What are we about to see here? Oh, a nice assisted fireman's takeover. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Julius Creed letting him know he's ready for anything he's got. their opponent whipped hard into the Ooh. corner followed by the clothesline and watch your neck oh man tag made tag made being carried around with ease snake eyes good night uh oh elbow drop Rotating attack on the leg. Able to capitalize on Hudson's mistake. Oh, running it. Here he goes for the win. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. He got whipped into that corner. Hooked. Strike. Oh! Oh, Hudson creates an opportunity. Took him out at the knee. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. There it is. From Julius. Duke needs to trust his instincts at this point. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Tackles. Root. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Forces the shoulder up after two. Good lord. Scarily close to three. Look at the confidence from Julius. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Shot right to the kidney. And set right into the corner. He's got the answer for that one. He's finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Julius weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Constant pressure stacking on top of Chase here. Creed's proven hard to deal with. Teeth. Tag made. Hurled away. God. Close line in the corner. Here's a cover. Could be it. chess here from Julius. Check out this power. Overhead, belly 
two belly. Leaves hoisted into a gory special into a flatliner. Nicely done. Duke could seal things up. Makes the he keeps his team in the match. Oh, and he had the wherewithal to counter on the oh, right, right. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, oh and overhand. A uh, tag made. Double team coming. Heading up to the top rope. What are they up playing there? Doomsday Cannonball. Will that close Andre out? Makes the cover. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. From way up, fist directly to the gut. What a counter by Brutus. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, put down face first. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit. Uh oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. He went right into that turnbuckle. He gets tagged in. Sweeping the leg to get out of that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He has to be at his limit now. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Oh, the hell a slam! Draped upside down in a tree of woe. Enable the counter. A spinning side slam. Such impact. Nice suplex. And there's the cover. That has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Look, Chase, you might be down for right now, but I think we all know not to count them out.
say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gonta! Oh, yeah! Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. This group has been unstoppable. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. Here comes a man with a vision. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. I think we're gonna see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. Referee signals for the bell and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. He is looking to do some serious harm. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Hip drop to the gut. Vicious right forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. We've seen Guthner stop people dead in their tracks with a single thunderous blow. How do you deal with an opponent like him? You have to weaken him all while making yourself a hard target. So be selective with your attacks and try to land blows to the legs or midsection. That'll help cut the big man down to size. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Just right in the face. Rip it at the eyes. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Gunther catches him by surprise. Vicious right forearm. Apollo fends that off. Caught with a lariat. for the pin. Just gets the shoulder up. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Drops 
drops the hammer right on the lower back. And an elbow. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Side headlock applied. Ah. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Apollo is now dictating the pace. Some very selective offense against Gunther. Whittling the big man down while also attempting to avoid his grasp. And a kick. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Right to the leg. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, he knew what was coming. Gunther gets stymied. Bam! Down he goes. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Target is set on Gunther. He's in peril. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Gunther with steely resolve to do that kind of damage. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Clubbing blow. Uh-oh. Right into the ring post. What impact. Stomp to the gut. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Oh, stiff uppercut. Cover, cover. And he breaks the count quickly. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Blow to the abdomen, gets them out of that. Oh, what a kick, right to the gut. Climbing to the top rope. Here we go. Frog splash from Apollo Crews. What a ruthless showcase of ability from Crews on that one. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. The attack. Chop. And Apollo Crews reverses it. He takes control. Muscles up there. Apollo. Elbow frozen. Gunther can taste victory now. Gunther who stands victorious. But Cruz isn't going to let this loss derail him or keep him down for long.
Symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth freaking Rollins! Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Just look at the size of Bobby Lashley. Truly. Oh, and my. his opponents first from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Uso. And from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event. You look at what Jey Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief, went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jey will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. Already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. Here comes a high-flying feed-on. This is going to be fun to watch. And from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier! One of the best young high-flyers in all of WWE. Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup, a truly well-rounded athlete. 
Keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. I agree, Byron. This dude is fun to watch, and he is unstoppable once he gets going. And his athletics are unmatched. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, if this is the way we're starting, Cole, I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Shoulder tackle. And Frazier able to reverse that. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Metal oh. rope for Kenny score the pin. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Dominating shoulder tackle. In a fatal four-way, danger basically surrounds you at all times. How exactly does a superstar cope with that, Corey? By making sure they're not an easy target in the ring. Don't stand still and just wait for harm to come your way. Stay light on your feet, keep moving, and pick your spots to attack carefully. Whoa-oh, monkey flip! <laughs> Positioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Ooh, Double team effort here. Oh, man. Wow. In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an ally. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't watch your back. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. And he tosses him back in now. To the back of the neck. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. Kick to the gut. Oh, ranked around into a neck breaker. Toss back into the ring. Ooh. Known to be irritating, we're seeing no different now. And he gets set back into the ring. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. Big ball. Oh my goodness. There's the oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? We're up. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Whoa, not quite yet. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. Oh, what a right. Man, that puts an attitude behind it. Right out of ringside and back to the mat. Face buster. Lashley's taking a lot of damage to his face, and it's showing now. Boom, running out. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. Back. Uh-oh. Lashley caught by surprise. A show of disrespect from Frazier. <laughs> Flipping power driver. Spiked. Connects on the kick. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh my God! What a kick! He's getting put down into the defensive. Yeah, at this point, Carl, the fatal four-way is still anyone's to win. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle.
There it is. Snap suplex. Show of disrespect from Frazier. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Oh my God! <laughs> what a punch! He turns it around. What's he looking for here? Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Shoulders down. Then Bobby Lashley. Kicking out in time. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Oh, and a forearm. Seth retaliates. Held in a perilous position. He's taking this to the floor now. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Rollins on the move. This could do it. Cover. He, no way. No way. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. There is no way that was what Seth Rollins was expecting. He thought this match was his. And this has been one of the most grueling matches we've ever witnessed. This, he may get the three count right here. I think so. He kicks out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Arm control applied and a big boot to the guts. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. To the gun. That was vicious. Will Jay take advantage? That's gotta be it. Two. Almost ended it there. Incredible resiliency. Then it's Jay Uso. This whole building is shaking. Matches like this are what it's all about. Back suplex. This match may be nearing its limit. This is a very dangerous situation now. Jey Uso can come back from this. After all, he has been down since. Rollins looking for it. Hoist their opponent all the way up. Just holding their opponent there. That's a 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. They can go all night. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Count that high, Saxton. Shut up. Corey. And concern being shown across Seth's face at this point. Yeah, Rollins has been broken down over the course of this match. Oh, the rear super kick! From behind, nasty. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Fraser becoming a bloody mess in there. especially for our winner, pulling out all the stops in this fatal four-way. All three of his opponents really made him fight tooth and nail to capture the victory.
The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion, and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. Well, they take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. The EST is here. This is going to be good. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Just signature exuberant energy. Now, Belair is always ready for her next big moment. And always highly motivated to be the best at everything she does. The EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Oh. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. And Belair reverses it. Knees up, had that telegraph, but can it be capitalized on? Oh, what a close line. Look at this, just what a barrage of stomps. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley are two stellar young talent, arguably at the top of their individual games. Belair, of course, the EST, excels at so many things inside the ring. With that in mind, Corey, what do you think Ripley has to do here to combat that sort of excellence? Cole, you're absolutely right that Belair is a superlative athlete, which is why you have to keep on top of her. That's advice for Ripley. Frankly, that's advice for anyone who stands across the ring from Belair. Don't let her get going, because once she's on a roll, that's pretty much all she wrote. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for some miss. Hit tossing her way out of a bad situation. Ooh, will this be enough? She's quick to get her shoulder up. Still in it. A series of clotheslines. 
And what does Bel Air want next? Face Buster! And shoulders are down. Not even a one count there. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ouch. Stops Ripley's attack. And Belair now gaining the advantage on Ripley. Cover here! And she's able to stop the count early. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Way up and down hard. here. See an answer for every move attempted. Belair with the wherewithal to avoid that. Oh, man. Turned it into a statement DDT. Ooh, she just turned it around. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Oh, God. Face first. We're talking about Rhea's true self. Well, that was a brutal example of what that means. Fights out at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Just dropped her like she was nothing. Phil Air now trying to capitalize. Submission. Look at this power. Submission locked in. Uh, Bianca Belair, I think she's going to... And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. A tough battle between both competitors and a hard-fought victory for Rhea Ripley. Bianca Belair may be the EST, but today the better and best woman was simply Rhea Ripley. Simply one of the best to ever do it. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds. The Viper, Randy Orton! This may sound hard to believe, gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you.
We talk a lot about who is the best, but Orton has been in the conversation for a very, very long time. Uh, how about over two decades of dominance, Corey? Undeniably on the short list for the greatest of all time. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. ready for more. One thing he can't do, guys, is try to outthink the Apex Predator. You're right. It simply can't be done. This superstar needs to rely on physical ability. has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. <laughs> I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Check this out. Oh. Simple but effective. Followed up by another to the chest. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Orton with great ring awareness. And he goes for the pin. Just kicks out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Nick Breaker. We're measuring his opponent and, and a big time knee drop. Tossed into the corner. Boom, what a right. Gosh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Stuck in the corner. Up to the middle ropes. What in the world? Oh, it's gonna hurt. Corner backbreaker. And will this be it? Power is through after two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, Orton came prepared for this matchup. The King of Strong Style is being dismantled. Orton is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Shinsuke Nakamura is one of the hardest hitting superstars in the world. We've seen his strikes lay out even the toughest competitors. That's true, Cole. But the best way to keep from getting hit by a train is by staying off the tracks. Dodging, countering, and avoiding Nakamura's attacks is the best way to find an opening and neutralize the King of Strong Style. Thrown back in under the ropes. Saw that one coming. Ah, oh, running knee lift. Spin kick to the midsection. Randy Orton gets him back. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Randy Orton 
Hoisting up his opponent with a follow away slam. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the And just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. Power slam by Orton. Body and toss up. Shoulders down. And the count stopped short of two. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Oh, and a front thrust kick. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Escapes in a nick of time. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Oh, he retaliates. Back on Orton. Dishing out a suplex. And the battle being brought to the Viper there. Shinsuke orchestrated that attack to perfection. Looking for a scoop slam. No, it slips behind. Inverted DDT. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. This is an incredible performance being put on by Shinsuke Nakamura. Looks like Orton's struggling here. Right to the back of the net. Nakamura looking to finish this off. Oh, Kane shots up. That could end the Viper's night. Two. Well, only two? The Viper will not perish. The Viper cannot be slain here tonight. And you can see the look of exhaustion mixed with frustration on Shinsuke's face. What more does he need to do here? to the gut, too. Oh, Orton might take it here. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. How? How did Shinsuke kick out of that? But now this is when Randy Orton is at his most dangerous of Viper who's had a taste and knows what it takes to win. Just cranking the head. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. earlier. Staying out of Nakamura's path has provided an opening and neutralized the King of Strong Style. Talking trash. Forearms to the face. Could get wild. Oh. Kick right the body. Stomping down. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Counter from Orton. Stretch. He saw it coming. High knee right between the shoulders. Right to the leg. He switches it back around. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Back out, see 
Did you see that? one the viper struck hard and captured his prey orton's proving he's still at the top of the food chain